The oyster reefs in Florida's Indian River Lagoon, prolific since the last ice age, have been dying off in recent years. University of Central Florida researchers have figured out why and are now working to restore them. The why is simple. Boat wakes in these normally quiet tidal waters push living oysters above the high tide line. These oysters die and form a barrier for the rest of the reef. These dead margins eventually kill off the entire reef. The solution? Giving baby oysters something to hold on to. Oyster shells fastened to rubber mats that won't wash away. The ongoing restoration project had a banner weekend this spring when 90 Winter Park High School students turned out to work. The stations we have set up, they are going and they're quality controlling them because the first time around, mats aren't always perfect. So they quality control them, then they bring them out to, um, to the dock here that we're on now. You get it? It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good, I just got them underway. Yes! And then um, they're transporting out to the reef and then the most fun part is raking down these piles of dead shells and then deploying the mats. It, it doesn't sound like fun, but it actually is really is cool once you get to do it. So the mats are just basically laid out in a tile pattern and are hitched together with um, sprinkler weights, which have enough calcium carbonate in them that oysters will actually settle on the weights too. Um, what we're finding is that within six months, we have an average of um, 34 new oysters per mat, um, which is really, really good. Ninth grade biology teacher Samantha Fisher says this is sometimes a very new experience for city kids. The interesting part of it is they don't get out there in nature very much. Lots of them haven't ever touched hand tools and stuff like that, so they're getting a, a different exposure than what they're used to. Um, less technology, more natural, and so it's great that they can have that. Makes them more well-rounded as individuals, I think. My hope is that by doing this that they feel more connected with Florida, and as a result they want to preserve it and take care of it. And if they walk past a piece of trash, they know to pick it up rather than make it someone else's problem. That's so true, yeah. And like, and that it's important what we're doing. Yeah, and like really little things can like affect the whole community. So far, the project has restored about seven acres of reefs in Mosquito Lagoon and is on track to complete 10 more this year. So the Nature Conservancy sees this as not only a site-specific project to be working on, but a national and global um, effort. Those Winter Park High School students have another keepsake for their day. The reef they restored is now called Wildcat Reef for their school mascot. This is Jerry Klein for UCF Reports. Thank you.